right, let's start with the obligatory couple disclaimer. This fucking channel isn't for kids. <sighs> I'm really hating some of this couple of shit. It keeps making me lose my Christian cred every episode. While also reviewing video nasties. And other exploitation. And other things that would have some people of my faith look down upon me. Oh well. Anyways, moving on. Welcome to Ban This, the show. Right, take a look at a piece of art and make a stupid, ridiculous argument as to why some stupid, ridiculous people would think it'd be a good idea to either outright ban it. Or at least make some good choice cuts. And it's November, so to keep up with some alliteration, I like to uh, take a look at some video nasties. Some of the easiest things to look at, because they've already been banned, so I don't have to do the mental work. But sometimes I still kind of have to. Case in point, this film. Now, yes, this is a violent film. Okay, well, there is some gunplay. Now that I recall, there is some gunplay, but that's not the focus. And as I was saying, this is a violent film, but the violence, it's not something that could be easily emulated. Because usually the argument, you know, you know, banning these kinds of very violent, you know, works of art is that uh, they could you know, inspire people to go out and imitate them. But, apart from one or two brief scenes with some gunfire, the violence can't really be emulated because it's totally fantastical. It's people blowing up. That's what it is. Just, they get stuff on them and it causes them to blow up. It's, you know, kind of taking the chest buster scene from Alien, just taking it up to 12. And they keep doing that over and over. But there is one scene that, while, yeah, it, continuing with the thing of just people blowing up, there's a scene involving a rat. And they are, you know, kind of, you know, Studying, you know, the spores, these little egg spore things that, you know, you know, as to why, if you make contact with the liquid that comes out of them, what makes you blow up 30 seconds later. They do a thing with the rat. So you're, the stuff gets on the rat, runs around, then just blows up. That seems to be maybe the biggest scene, because, uh, If you look at a lot of these things, there is a double standard when it comes to violence done towards humans and done to violence done towards animals, simulated or not. Here, I think it would probably be simulated. You know, it's not like ripping a turtle apart in Cannibal Holocaust. But... <sighs> yeah... It, do the same thing to an animal that you do to a human, the animal will get a lot more sympathy than the fellow human being. It's this weird little double standard, just, it's weird. It's like a complete reversal of how it would have been years and years ago, where human life, number one priority. Animals, yeah, you can try to protect them, but... If you have to kill them or something, you have to kill them. So, yeah. Anyways, that seems to be the biggest, most objectionable scene. A one little rat blowing up. Otherwise, the violence here is generally very fantastical and cannot be emulated without, I don't know, being a chemist. And there's no chemistry in this film to tell you how to blow up somebody in 30 seconds. So, yeah. Anyways, what do I think of this film in reality? It's okay. 
it uh, does use the gimmick of the chest bursting a little too often, and it is not convincing at all. You can tell exactly when somebody is going to be blowing up, like five seconds before they do, because they're. It looks like they gained fifty pounds to make you know wait for the giant ass squib that they use. So, this does have music by Goblin, and to me, that is the highlight, and that kind of helps make the film enjoyable, because I love me some Goblin, with the exception of, like, Phenomena or Patrick. Those are kind of underwhelming, but usually, it's hard to go wrong with that group. I seem to like this a little bit more than a lot of people. A lot of people, they dismiss it as an alien ripoff to me. It's it's a lot more. There's some like his elements of like a zombie with the beginning and the ship, but to me, it does enough newer things to transcend being just a regular ripoff. It has its own kind of uniqueness but just borrows heavily from other things, which a lot of people don't seem to mind, because uh, that's kind of what Quentin Tarantino's made his career on, just taking bits and pieces of other movies and throwing them all together. And people consider him to be a great director. So, yeah. It's an okay movie. I seem to like it more than a lot of other people. But if you're like most other people, you might kind of dismiss it as a below average movie. Or at least average at worst or best, whatever the term is, you know what I mean. But yeah, for what it is, it's fine. I could watch it again if I'm in the mood, maybe. And this film did come out before Aliens, and there are quite some similarities between that movie and this film, so who knows? Maybe Aliens ripped off Contamination, the Alien ripoff. You'd have to ask Cameron himself that. Alright, well that's about it for this one. I will talk to you all later. You can like dislike, subscribe, unsubscribe, share, unshare, do whatever you want, I don't care, comment, uncomment, it's all good to me, and I will see you in the next one, uh, check out mine's bit shoe, start us, link description below, take care, God bless.